Hi there. Today we're gonna tie. I'm gonna tie a fairly large fly. Uh, this is a big game fly. Uh, this is for for marlin and sailfish and uh, dorado and uh, stuff like that. Um, it can be used for pike and uh, and uh, and muskie as well. It's a fairly large fly, and we're gonna end this fly up by using one of these rainy, very cool rainy heads to make this fly pop a lot. Um, so. <coughs> Uh, I've not had the privilege yet to actually land a marlin on, on the fly. I've hooked 13 uh, on uh, on two trips to Mexico. Um, but what happened was I did not bring the, the completely the right gear. My fly line was not uh, of the right sort and stuff like that. You need to have a fly line with absolutely no stretch uh, in order to hook the, the fish. And I've made some of my tackles a bit wrongly and stuff like that. But um, but at least I saw them and I got to uh, to uh, I, I got to hook one, but not probably. Uh, so so I have, I've had 13 marlins grab my fly, uh, but not landed a single one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this fairly large bundle of... Uh, of bucktail here. I'm gonna tie this down here so all the tips are pointing forward. Um, as you saw I had a fairly decent uh, amount of uh, of uh, tying thread to uh, to to have this uh, so this has something to uh, to be uh, to, to, to grab onto and what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this over um, like this and then tie it forward because uh, this uh, bucktail will then uh, kind of like a corona make your fly uh, your fly more uh, have have a lot more volume and a lot more bulk in the water so like this is the effect that I'm going for as you can see you now have the corona effect here this looks uh, absolutely exactly how I want it to be. Then we're of course going to use some uh, some flesh, and uh, for this fly, uh, I find that uh, in my experience, but also what I've talked to the captains uh, where I was fishing about, is that blue is one of the really good colors. And as you can see, this <laughs> this uh, fleshy blue holographic magnum in uh, in teal is is ideal because it's very long, so you can make some some very large flies uh, fairly easy without uh, without this actually weighing too much. Uh, in the water. So I'm taking a bundle of this and then I'm gonna pull on the feathers here to make sure, not on the feathers but of the strands of flesh to make sure that it's not completely uniform in length and then I'm gonna tie this down so it's gonna come all the way around all the way around my tube here. The reason why I'm tying on a tube is that tube flies gives you a lot of advantages Tube flies is uh, is nice because when tying on tubes, you can uh, you can you can attach exactly the the hook set the hook mount you you want, um, and the tube ensures that you can have your your hook uh, moved a bit further uh, further back in uh, into into the fly into the wing, so you have the hook exactly where where the fish probably will grab it, like this. As you can see, I've I've secured my my flesh material here, uh, and then I'm going to take this. I'm going to turn this uh, backwards as well, like so. So I now have the flesh material tied in doubly, which will make the fly more strong. But it will also uh, ensure that I've not cut anything off this fly so far. As you can see, it's nice, nice and evenly distributed all the way, or almost all the way around. To add some more bulk and some more volume, I'm gonna take some super hair, supreme hair, sorry. <laughs> super hair is, <laughs> is another product. Some supreme hair. Um, cutting a nice bundle of this also again. Gonna make sure that this is not completely, completely the same length all the way around. Gonna tie a bit further up the tube here. Make sure I have some uh, some some uh, some tying thread to uh, to support this. Gonna make sure that this is a bit out here, and then try to distribute it 
evenly all the way around the tube. This is a future fly tube, uh, a, nice, a, a nice tube for these big flies. Uh, the diameter of this tube is, is 4.6 millimeters, so it's a, it's a fairly, fairly large tube. Like this, I'm gonna take this and fold it backwards as, again as well. And I'm not gonna tie on top of it, I'm just gonna tie all the way up to it. Uh, so it will give the kind of like the same corona effect as the uh, as the um, as the bucktail used earlier. I can see, I, I think I have to tie on top of it. Sorry, like that. Oh, <clears throat> now we have a mix of the super hair, the flashy boo, and uh, the bucktail. And uh, this fly is starting to uh, to get into shape. What we want to do now is we're going to take some saddle feathers. As I was saying, um, now we have some some supreme hair and stuff like that. Now we're going to take some uh, some white hackles. Uh, I'm going to tie some of these in right about here. Again, I want this fly to be symmetric on all sides, which will make it uh, fish better and and uh, and fish no matter how it lands. I'm just going to tie some of these white saddle feathers here, so they're going <laughs> to go out in every every direction. Uh, they add a lot, lot of noise and a lot of life, and a lot of vitality, so make sure to add some of these. Again, kind of like a corona all the way around the fly here. Like that. <laughs> it's a bit difficult to see everything that's happening here, but I can zoom out a bit for you, like so. Gonna cut some of these pointy stuff here off. Now. What I want to do is uh, I want again to add uh, some more some old bulk. So I'm taking another bundle of uh, another bundle of uh, supreme hair. Again, trying to distribute it evenly all the way around. Tie it down, like so. And this will move very nicely with the hackles. This time I'm going to cut this off because I used the Supreme Hair almost full length. Like that. I'm gonna take another bundle of uh, another bundle of uh, holographic flashable. And then pulling it out so it's it's uneven in length. Fish for billfish on the fly is uh, well, is something I think everyone should try at least once. But it's well, it's difficult. It's uh, I'm I'm sorry that it uh, I'm. I'm a bit unhappy that it did. I, I, I did not succeed, but well, at least I saw these magnificent, magnificent creatures, and and I saw them grab my fly, and that was well, just uh, almost out of worldly experience. Uh, they are so majestic, so beautiful, and uh, well, they truly are are the inca incarnation, I think, of of the ocean. Uh, so, just to see them uh, was was a huge, huge, huge thing for me, and. Um, and and these fish I could I could never I mean I could never I could never kill a marlin I think they are just too grand too spectacular too too beautiful but well I would like to have uh, well, touched one at least <laughs> but I saw them <laughs> and uh, they saw me and that was uh, that was a, a very very rewarding experience so uh, that was uh, the next the next stage of this fly.
what we need to do now is uh, we need actually now to uh, to add uh, um, something that can give uh, some contrast and this is uh, this is some uh, some uh, uh, some lateral scales in uh, in the, in the color opal uh, mirror opal <laughs> very vibrant and uh, and uh, powerful uh, powerful color just going to add some strands of these to um, mimic the uh, uh, the sidelines of uh, of any any bait fish this is probably gonna be an imitation. If it should be an imi if this is an imitation of anything, it's an imitation of a of a small uh, of a small bonito or something like that, which is uh, what marlins and uh, marlins and uh, and sailfish uh, normally go for, like this. Looks fairly nice. So. This fly is also fairly light, so it's it's, it's relatively easy to cast while being while being a <laughs> really really big fly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some of these uh, nice and blue saddle feathers here, uh, again to to give even more even more life to the fly, but also to again to 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 imitate the uh, the backs of uh, of the uh, of the, the the small tunas. If you can get some saddle, saddle feathers, uh, 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 get some that is as long as you can get them for for flies like this. Uh, uh, that's uh, that's that's what you should you should do. Get some get some long ones because this is a fairly large fly, uh, and in this size, as I said, it can it can also work for a pack. So uh, so have this in your box if you're going to Baja or something like that, and when you come back home to fish for 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 muskies or pike, uh, this this fly will will still be still will will not have been wasted at least. Yeah. Takes a. a Bit of time to to place these feathers uh, correctly, but well, it's it's worth it. It will look so much better in the water if done correctly. If you want and you have the opportunity, you can always mix it with uh, with a kingfisher blue or or uh, or something like that. I'm just gonna do it with the regular blue one here. As I said before, it's important when you f when you fish for a marlin to have the right hook up, uh, the, the right hook set and stuff like that. And ordinarily, what you want to do is you want to have a, a piece of uh, piece of uh, a piece of uh, titanium wire uh, that is uh, that is um, uh, uh, which you you take uh, the first hook uh, and then uh, combine it with with a second hook that is that is angled. To a, to a very specific angle in order for you to 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 maximize your hooking percentage and uh, and one of these rigs will go very well with with a tube fly uh, of the sort this one is so you can you can have made the rigs from the the, the way the, from back home and uh, and you can you can just add um just add the leader through the tube here uh, when you when you're out on the water and, ex and select exactly uh, what type of rig you want for that particular day and and for what particular species you're targeting that day and make sure that your fly line is uh, is a real or a scientific English fly line uh, made for the purpose because it needs to be uh, non stretch uh, in order to uh, in order to to really grab on to the uh, to to uh, to to, uh, to fasten to, to secure to to hook the, the 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 very very powerful and very very bony um, mouth of uh, of the billfish there you have it what we're going to do here if, uh, as the last part of this fly in order to cover everything nice uh, cover everything nicely up and uh, and add the final touch is i'm going to take a marabou hackle here in white Again, this will give a little bit of contrast to the rest of the fly. I'm sorry if my if my <laughs> uh, if my bobbin is uh, is a bit squeaky, like so.
this will provide a very nice uh, tr transcendence from from the fly to uh, to the uh, to the head. And also give some some life to all of this. And I'm gonna make a wood finish here. And then finally, of course, I'm gonna add some varnish here. <clears throat> the varnish or super glue, whatever you have at hand, just drop a drop of it here. And then I'm going to take this head here and place it on the fly. Come on. This wasn't uh, uh, big enough yet, so I just widen the hole a bit with uh, with my uh, my scissor and as you can see there you have it a very nice fairly easy very light uh, big game fly and you can of course cut the tube off at the length you want you can even uh, change the head so if let's say you do not want uh, a floating fly you can uh, you can always just switch it to uh, to uh, maybe you want instead you want uh, something like this uh, on your fly. I can demonstrate it. So you wanted something like this, a big head for the fly, and of course you attach a big eye there, something like that. You can do all. Oh, <laughs> this messed up the tube a bit. Sorry about that. That's nothing to be concerned about. Something like that. Well, there you go. There you have it. A big game fly that uh, uh, fishes very, very well. Thank you for tuning in.